this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 227, looking at the top five legacy decks. Well, actually, we're going to look at 10 decks today or more after Dig Through Time has been banned. I was in the middle of an article for Mox Boarding House that was actually published last week on the top five legacy decks. And then the band hammer hit and Dig Through Time has been banned. Several of the decks that I had on that list had Dig Through Time in them. So I've started over from scratch today and really tried to reevaluate the legacy environment with the upcoming Seattle Grand Prix in mind. What decks would you really want to test against now that Dig Through Time is gone? Dig Through Time. With Dig Through Time going, it doesn't mean we're not going to see blue decks. Brainstorm is still the most powerful card in Legacy. But we do have a lot of decks that have gotten much better because Dig Through Time is gone. Dig Through Time is a very neat card in that it allows you to grab two cards, two extremely relevant cards. In the mid game, this shut down Lily of the Veil, vale, so we've seen very little Lily recently. Hand Destruction was much worse in the current environment. And Ancestral Visions is a sad draw card when Dig Through Time can be cast faster at instant speed. The Shardless Bug decks have been out of favor for a little while, and Ancestral Visions has seen almost no play. Stoneforge Mystic also has not seen a lot of play recently, mostly because the combo decks are so fast that Stoneforge is a little bit slow, and when you can dig through your deck to look for an answer to equipment, equipment gets much worse. I predict that Stoneforge Mystic is going to see a lot more play post the Dig Through Time ban. Spirit of the Labyrinth is also a personal favorite that gets much better as a hate card. It hits all the draw spells now that are important, where Dig Through Time wasn't hit by Spirit of the Labyrinth. Does this mean that decks like Gary Thompson's Grixis Control deck are dead? No, definitely not. Dig Through Time was extremely powerful, but the deck core is still really good. The resilience of the deck has only went down slightly. I'm not sure what's going to work in that Dig Through Time spot, but this deck is still a solid shell for a deck. Don't avoid it altogether. On the other hand, decks like Omnitel look much, much worse without Dig Through Time. Omniscience and Dig Through Time combo together so well. Show and Tell is still the powerful, powerful card, but we're probably going to be looking at a little bit different shell than the Omni Tell shell for Show and Tell. We're going to see some decks return that we haven't seen for a while. Rug Delver is on the top of my favorites list for making a top 16, if not a top 8, at the Legacy GP here in Seattle. Without Dig Through Time and more fair decks entering the environment, Rug Delver is well positioned to take advantage of those decks. Also, people have forgotten how to play against Stifle. Stifle's a very powerful card. Shardless Bug has been a powerhouse for the last several years, and it only gets better with Tassiger and Gurmog Angler. This is another deck that I'm going to be testing very heavily. I also just want to mention Merfolk currently. Merfolk is an extremely under-respected deck. Chalice of the Void is a powerhouse. We've got Brainstorm as the best card in Legacy, Delver, Swords to Plowshare, lots of other one-casters in the environment. A Chalice-based deck that also has an aggro aspect is in the position to do really well right now. Now we're moving into my official top five. Whenever a format gets shaken up, burn gets better. When people are experimenting, trying new things, their decks usually aren't honed yet, and Burn is ready to jump in and take advantage of that. I like this build because of the Grim Lava Mancers to take out any of those fair creature decks, and Eidolon of the Great Revel is probably the best red creature right now. Goblin Guide is a close second, super powerful card. Do not cut it from your burn decks. Yes, you're giving people land. It doesn't matter. Black Vice was unbanned. How good would it be to play Goblin Guide with Black Vice? Come on. Goblin Guide, Black Vice. Figure out a way to put Black Vice into this deck and win some tournaments. In the number four spot here, I've got Lands. Lands is a powerhouse deck. It just attacks on a whole different axis 
Mostly, it uses the Dark Depths Thespian Stage combo to put out a 20-20 and win in a single turn. It has Punishing Fire to keep all the fair decks down, and cards like Tabernacle to shut down anybody who's trying to use creatures. This deck would finish higher more often if Tabernacle wasn't on the no reprint list. Tabernacle is just too expensive for most people to get copies of these. I would watch out for this deck though and play test against it a little. The number three spot here, I've got the best fair deck in Legacy, which is Death and Taxes. I did a large article over on Mox Boarding House about Death and Taxes. Check it out. This deck only gets better with more people relying on traditional can trips over dig through time. Wonderful deck overall. Spirit of the Labyrinth, I'd probably up the count of them in Death and Taxes decks right now. Beyond that, this kind of green-white splash that I've got here is very metagamed for the previous dig through time environment. I'm not sure where I fall on Gaddix right now. It depends on what combo deck really starts to take over. Gaddick Teague is a powerful card that will deal with those four casters and above. If we see a lot of chases and a lot of miracles cards, Gaddick is a great answer to those. In the number two spot here, I've got Grixis Delver. This deck is the deck that won Eternal Weekend a few weeks ago. It only ran two dig through times. It is a powerhouse, even without dig through time. I would consider adding at least a Colgan's Command and maybe a Sudden Shock to the mix. Colgan's Command might be a little bit greedy. The mana base on this is very, very tight, but Sudden Shock helps you with Death and Taxes. It helps you with the Death Rites in the Mirror. It helps you with Young Pyro in the Mirror and Delver's Secrets. It's also a way to actually get some damage through counter spells. The number one best deck in Legacy right now is Miracles. GP Seattle is going to have a lot of Miracles players. There's something about the Northwest that just breeds Miracles players. Dig Through Time was not that big of a card in Miracles. It was not the ideal deck to be playing with Dig. And replacing Dig Through Time with a Misdirection and a Vendillion Click, this deck can hit the ground running and be prepared to win a major event. You need to be able to beat this deck if you're going to play in events. I recommend checking out Abrupt Decay if you need to deal with the counterbalance. Otherwise, consider putting the deck together. It's an incredibly powerful deck. Please cascade in to that subscribe button and join the community here at Mythic MTG Tech. If you want us to make more videos, please consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. I greatly appreciate it and it helps us keep the channel afloat.